What we're going to go through here today is the Rockwood Mini Light 2509. This particular unit is customer stock number 8322. You've got your power tongue jack up front. This button will be for the light. Then you've got your up and your down. You'll have your LP tanks up top here. Just for reference, these are two 30 pound LP tanks. Battery box. And your battery disconnect. Let's see if we can get to that here. Is right there. That is this switch. So if you're not using the camper and you want to conserve the batteries, you'll flip that over. And it'll disconnect all power to the trailer. Power stabilizer jacks. The dry weight of this trailer is 5,509. And that is the VIN number. Exterior storage on the slide out. This will be under the dinette. You have your cable and satellite hookups, your city water connection, and your antifreeze inlet. This will be your black tank flush and your outside shower with your hot and your cold. Here you've got your black and your gray sewer outlet. This is where your connection will be for your 30 amp service. Spare tire with cover and your receiver. This does have a 300 pound uh, maximum capacity and there's no towing capacity. Up top there above the brake lights is the prep spot for the Freon high speed backup camera. It is sold separately. Here you'll have another hot and cold um, spray outlet. On the outside kitchen, you'll have two burners in your outside mini fridge. This is the sprayer that we just talked about here on the left side that plugs in. This particular unit has the off-road package, so you'll have your upgraded treaded tire and your lift on the trailer. This bar is for the table or your grill that you can mount. You'll have, again, cables on this side for plugging in the TV as well as outlets. And this button is for your power stabilizer jacks in the rear. TV mount prep spot. Two outside speakers and your microwave vent. And then your gas electric water heater. On the front right corner, you'll have your front power stabilizer jacks. That is the button to extend and retract. And then your um, solar panel prep spot that you can put a tripod solar panel on as well. This is the table that mounts on the side of the camper. And this is a bag to hold your power cord. This is what we put our starter kits in. So when you get your trailer, you'll have your um, sewer hose, fresh water hose, etc. Solid entry step there. And then the 2509S. In the slide out, you're going to have the dinette. It'll drop down if you want to make it into a sleeping area. These cushions just come back off. They're Velcro. You can drop those down in. In this drawer, this is what you'll use to get your um, uh, what is it? Your water filter off. They are very tight, so use this to get that off. This is the actual tube that goes in the water filter. Horse River is nice enough to give everybody a little spatula. And then this is all your TV hookups and your gas hookup lines, um, as well as for your batteries. 
you want to run them a different way. Just below is the griddle that comes with the camper. It's a flat top. In the front of the camper, you're going to have the Murphy bed. These here will bring, bring out the footstools. You'll bring that out. You'll unlatch both corners, bring the bed down, and then when you want to bring the bed up, there's a knob. On the corner of the Murphy bed, you'll have to pull that, and that'll help you bring the bed back up. I'd show you in the video, but it's kind of hard to do with just the camera in my hand. If you have any questions, feel free to call us, and we'll be able to walk you through it. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube as well. This is for your inverter, your on and off. If it's green, you'll see that it's on. If it's off, you won't see anything. Got a max air fan up above our head here four speeds and then just a simple off button you want to make sure you open that um, when you're ready to use it that way the air can flow out when you first walk in you're gonna have your control panels your radio um, the other control panels gonna be for your solar there's a very in-depth video on YouTube if you need a link I can send that to you via email it's very, very simple. Um, once you figure it out the first time, it may look confusing up front, but how they actually show you to set up your batteries for, with the battery type and to get things running is very simple. This sticker here, you can scan the RQ code. You'll download the app. You can actually control your slide outs, your lights, and your awning with your phone, which is kind of nice when it's just you and you need help figuring out what the slide out depth is in a tight camp space. These blue buttons are going to be for your water, the water pump, your heater, your electric, I'm sorry, your your electric heater and your gas, and then your tank heaters underneath that will help uh, warm your fresh water holding tanks while you're traveling. This is for the slide out, this is for the awning, and these are all your lights, whether it's the interior porch, your awning, or your step lights. And then here is your gauges. Um, you'll press this, this is your battery showing that. Uh, the battery is full power. Obviously fresh water, black water, and gray waters are empty, and that's what it's showing there. Radio, very simple to use, just like any other radio in a vehicle or at home. You can zone it. There's three different zones, whether you want it interior, exterior, both. You can set your channels. You can search. HDMI ports for charging your phones, um, as well as USB, auxiliary cords. You'll have ever, actually another zone over here as well. And then there's a Bluetooth button. BT stands for Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone wirelessly to play whatever music you'd like. If you have any questions on those, feel free to call and we'll walk you through it. Here in the corner right by the door is a nifty pop-up outlet. You'll have two regular GFCI outlets and then two USB outlets. Watch your fingers because if you push this button down, this will drop very quickly. And I've pinched my fingers before. It is not fun. Your, your TV up top, you will have a double basin stainless steel sink. Then you'll have your gas oven here. There's three burners up top. The light is very simple. You'll switch it over to the burner you'd like. Twist it over until till the light comes on or the flame comes on. Same thing for underneath. You'll turn the gas over to the preferred temperature. You'll light it, and then once you see the pilot light light, then it'll start up. If you have any questions on that, feel free to call our service department. Microwave is just like any standard at home microwave. Here you've got the 12 volt LG refrigerator. They're a little bit deeper so for more storage. 
all your controls for this will be right here. Coldest, cold, and cool. And then the off button. Most people just keep it on the cold setting. Very nice fridge. They'll get cold very quick. The 12 volts get cold quicker than the gas electric, I can tell you that. Just below my feet here. Oh, let's see if we can get it open. There we go. Here's your control panel. You'll have all your breakers as well as your fuses. If one of these fuses were to pop with this closed, you'll see it. It'll light up a little green LED light letting you know. You'll just replace it with the correct one. The bunks, you'll see the bottom bunk flips up. You've got a little safety net here if you're bringing anything heavy. It's not sliding around. Out to your right here is your AC and your heat. This is a very simple setup as well. You can set the temperature via this dial. You've got cool fan off and heat. And then there's an auto button. Most people just keep it on auto. You can run it on fan mode or you can have it all the way on. Um, and that's just to push air through high, low, um, different settings. Very simple to run your AC and your heat with that. Nice big open bathroom. You'll have another max air fan. Works just like the one above the Murphy bed. You'll have the Dometic porcelain toilet. You can see the antifreeze in it. You just put your foot down on it. And it'll drop, and you'll see the antifreeze running through there. This here, I've got a lot of questions on. It's a shower miser. So if you're off the grid camping and you want to conserve water, what you'll do is you'll flip the switch here. This will stay blue until the water gets warm. When the water starts to change from cold to hot, this will actually turn to more of a gray color, letting you know that the water that's running through this hose is actually hot. That way you're not pushing cold water out and down into your gray tank, um, essentially wasting water. So that gr that blue will actually turn gray, letting you know that it's hot. From there you'll flip it over and allow water to run through. Nice way to conserve water when you're off the grid. I think that pretty much wraps it up on the Rockwood 2509. If you do have any questions, feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.